recognize our son, we don't recognize stack bundles. We don't recognize you when your brains is blown out. If you rhyme me talking on that killer talk, when your brains is blown out, we not recognize you. That's what it is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. I'm not here because of myself or because of me. I'm here as a mother who lost an 18 year old son. Friday, July 13, 2012 at 2.43 at 28th Street and Seagirt Avenue. If I can save another mother, another family from going through what I went through last year and still going through, I'm going to try. My son, Sean Owen Plummer, live here in Quarakaway. A lot of the young guys know him. A lot don't. He was dreaming to be a mechanic. He go to school every day. He attend Brooklyn Automotive High. His dream was to come back to Quarakaway and open a mechanic shop. He loved fixing bicycles. There is not a young youth around here if they call on Sean, no matter what time, to fix a bicycle, Sean will do it. And as a mother, as a parent, I'm pleading, parents, listen to your children, listen to our children. They are crying out. They are crying out. They are our futures of tomorrow. We are losing too much our innocent kids. And this thing about no snitching, you see something, you say something. Because when it reach your doorstep, you're gonna feel the pain that I felt. June 1st, my son was 19 years old. His life was cut short. He wasn't a gun, he wasn't a drug dealer. He wasn't a gang banger. He was an innocent 18 year old boy riding his bicycle coming from the store. The last word my son said to me was, Mommy, I love you. The last thing I did was wipe the last tear from my son high. So young people, young men, young women, use your hands in a positive way, not a negative way. We are saying no to gun violence. Put down the guns. Use your hands for something constructive. The gun is a negative. Use your hand productive in your community. If you see a child out there in, in trouble, speak to them. They are your brothers. They are your nephews. Not because I didn't give birth to your daughter or your son. It takes a village to raise a kid. Our children need us. I'm pleading to parents. I'm pleading, I'm begging. I'm going on my knees asking mothers and fathers, when your children are out here and they're doing anything wrong, and somebody come and tell you that your child is misbehaving, don't say you want to fight the person who bring the message. Take your children, speak to your children, let them know what they're doing out there is wrong. Because if you don't, it's either two way. It's either six foot six for your son, or you're gonna go behind bars. The person who murdered my son, not only murdered him, he murdered his own son because what? You have to be looking over your back every time you walk. We know who you are. Everybody know who you are. My thing today, we need to stop this gun violence. We need to put down the guns. We need to use our hands in a positive way, not in a negative way.
show out. Yeah, we out here selling it. Something more important. Because you know what? Yeah. We wouldn't be here without our moms. And not our dads too, but we wouldn't be here without our moms. So you know, we gotta close it out on that and try to make my mama cry. I'm just kidding. Don't forget it. Because, you know, I've been doing this for a while now. And, you know, it was hard to get a rock to rock with me. And I really appreciate that. You know what I mean? And I guarantee you, no matter where I go, I'm going to bring far rock with me. You heard? Scram the city. 